Carl Hoffman, President and CEO of PSI, Population Services International. Uh, the U.S. has been a real leader in global health, and American taxpayers should be proud of the achievements that have been possible through that. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver of the federal budget, still. I mean, all of the work that goes into global health and development, all of the work of the State Department and USAID, all of our contributions to the UN, all of our contributions to international development institutions, all of that is less than 1% of the federal budget, give or take. So I think the risk is with the big uh, struggles going on in Washington right now about what to do about America's fiscal problems and imbalances, that somehow this 1% of the budget winds up having to bear more than its fair share of the need for rigor or cuts. And that would be a mistake. We all understand that the American fiscal situation is unsustainable right now, but let's not try and balance the budget on the back of 1%. Also, this is a 1% of the budget that does tremendous good for American people. Uh, it's the prevention as opposed to the cure. Uh, the cure might be what America has to invest in terms of treasure and blood to solve problems overseas. Much better to prevent that by investing in development, including global health, uh, before they become major problems. And the best people and the most um, articulate advocates of that point of view happen to be America's military leaders who see the value of development spending so that it doesn't have to be a problem that's solved ultimately by American soldiers.